today is going to be a bike ride into Glacier National Park. Alice and I are in the Avalanche parking lot and the road going to the sun stops here, but it's open from here up to the loop for hikers and bikers. So this episode in our series on Glacier National Park is gonna be a bike ride from Avalanche parking lot up to the loop. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, 50 degrees outside and um, a little overcast, but it looks like it's gonna break out. So we might have a good opportunity to get some good views today. Uh, one thing I wanna talk about is that this is a big deal for locals in the area because early in the season as Glacier Park is opening, um, it kind of goes in stages. Last week it was open to McDonald parking lot, the McDonald Lake parking lot. And then it's open to hikers and bikers from McDonald Lake parking lot. This week it's from Avalanche Loop parking lot open to hikers and bikers. So this is the best opportunity for people to come to Glacier National Park that enjoy hiking or biking or want to walk the road and not have to worry about all the tourist traffic and big vehicles and stuff that are on the road. Now during the season, you can ride bikes on the road, but not between the hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. There have been bear sightings. Uh, there just have been bear sightings. There was somebody who saw a black bear with her cub. So yep. we have to keep our eyes out for wildlife and make sure that we don't get in their path. Uh, so make sure that you do guys, you know, anybody who is on this road to pay attention to the wildlife. Um, we'll put a link to National Park Services Glacier National Park in the description below too. And if you're really interested in Glacier National Park and the things that we're going to be bringing you during our series on Glacier National Park, be sure to hit the subscribe bite button um and click the bell so you'll get notifications every time we release a new video because during the next few months that's our goal is glacier national park yep awesome let's get going okay so what an amazing bike ride this is Right along the river, great views on both sides, just truly enjoyable. Hey, Nick, dear, how are you enjoying your bike ride? I'm waiting for the sun to come out. Oh, a little chilly? <laughs> Sometimes, but it's not bad. It's worth it. It's worth every minute of it. Well, we're a couple miles maybe down the road, mile and a half, two miles maybe. And been mostly following the river. There's a real pretty piece of river right here. It goes up like so. A little bit of a uh, trail off to the side. I think it just basically goes down to the river. And um, there's a bridge across the river just a beautiful drive so far we've only passed one person that was a lady who was on her way hiking out i uh, didn't get a chance to talk to her because we we're pedaling uphill but uh wow the views are amazing let me turn around and get a look at this hill behind me struggling with the bike a little bit just amazing views in here it's going to be a beautiful day what an awesome day for a bike ride So sometimes you need to make sure you stop and look behind you. Right, because the way we're headed is in the opposite direction of where the camera is facing now. We stopped to take some pictures of the mountainside off to our right. And uh, as we were getting ready to leave again, I had gone up the road just a bit while Alice was adjusting the camera on her bike. And I looked back at her and I saw that, I saw that behind us. <laughs> I was like... Holy cow, look at that. Don't forget to turn around and look behind you. So, Just the few minutes that we've been standing here, these clouds up here have changed, have changed a lot. A lot. 
you know I mean at times you can see the peaks of the mountains at times you can't see the peaks of the mountains so you know biking hiking all that stuff is good exercise but just remember it's Look all behind. about it's all about the adventure and enjoying this if you want to exercise for exercise sake do that a different way Go to this the gym. Right? <laughs> this this is about enjoying the view and enjoying yes. the scenery and stuff like that. The bikes for us just enable us to get farther in than if we were hiking and in a shorter amount of time. So it right. gives us the opportunity to make best use of our time. Ready to get going? Yeah. Okay. You, let's let's go. go. So we didn't make it very far down the road. Uh, because as we were saying a minute ago, you go around the corner and things change. Look at that. Wow. I mean, that is just beautiful. Just one more reminder why you got to look behind you every now and then when you're on these kind of trips. All right, dear, what do you think about the bike ride so far? It has been a little tough. It doesn't look like it's much uphill, but it's a solid uphill. But other than that, not bad. <laughs> How's those legs feeling? Um, a little jello. Just a little jello? Well, that's all right. Just it's a been a few shaky. years. It's been a few years. So we're going to do a rotation because there's some pretty cool stuff behind us. There's a little bit of a waterfall right over there. We'll, we'll, we'll ride our bikes up there. It's a little bit more than just a little bit of a waterfall. Oh, well, yeah. from here it looks like just a little bit of a waterfall. Mm -hmm. Just more. And then we'll come around over here and uh -huh. the sun is starting to creep out a little yep. bit. Those clouds are getting bright white behind us and we get a little bit of the blue sky creeping out. Turning out to be a beautiful day. Yes. You ready to ride again? To the waterfall. To the waterfall. <laughs> it's just like right there. <laughs> Let's do it. To the waterfall. <laughs> She goes. She's been a real trooper. Tired, wore out, but she swears one way or another she's gonna make it to the end. Biking, walking, doing both. Made it to the tunnel. Tunnel's pretty cool. We haven't been all the way through it yet because um, it has these pretty cool archways carved out in it that allow you to come out and see views like what's behind us. And then of course you can look up and down the valley a little bit and see some pretty neat stuff. All the waterfalls. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure you can enjoy the adventure fast. Um, it just depends on how much you really want to see yeah. and how much you want to get off the bike and look around and you know everybody has their own adventure and their own path to travel and this is our path yeah. you know our path is a slow winding mountain road there's a waterfall up there with some sore legs <laughs> and a few stops we'll, we'll recover we'll get there and yeah. uh just gonna be amazing. Absolutely. You ready to get going? Yep.
Oh, she got to hydrate up a little bit. Yep. Okay, let's go. Well, we made it to the loop. It's a good ride, not bad. Can go a little bit further, but we're gonna wait. I think we're gonna just sit here for a little bit, have some lunch that we packed. See if we can get her in here. There she is. Look She's how beautiful it is out there. Busy taking pictures. That's Heaven's Peak under the clouds, somewhere over there. Yeah, the big, <laughs> the big one. It's covered in clouds. And the elevation is 8,887 feet. Um, let's try that again. 8,987 oh. feet. Somebody's having problems with I guess with I need some reading. new contacts. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have lunch here in the hopes that some of those clouds go away and we can get some better pictures while we're here. Besides, can hear the water running. It's awesome. Just finished our bike ride from Avalanche to Loop. Wow. Yeah. What a ride. Let me tell you, it it was pretty good probably the first half. And you know, we're very novice riders, so <laughs> understand that when I say then it started going uphill and it stayed uphill. It wasn't a steep uphill, but it was a very gradual, long, like couple miles of uphill, but yes it was worth every single turn of the bike pedals <laughs> the views were amazing and you know we still firmly believe in the whole concept of take your time 
There's yeah. no rush because right now is the time that you have. So we started at 7 and it is now 10 minutes to noon. Yeah, so we were five hours. Um, not all of that was bike riding. I mean, no, we stopped we, so many times. And we we had lunch up on at the loop. At the loop. Yep. We stopped and sat on a uh, rock ledge, enjoyed the view. I got some uh, time lapse video while I was sitting there eating my sandwich. And now that I gotta say, awesome. I gotta say, was it was it was coming down. <laughs> that was the best part wow. ever coming that, down that long uphill <laughs> you freeze coming down because you get going pretty fast <laughs> you don't have to pedal a single time on that downhill slope uh, you got to hit your brakes a couple times but this is what it's all about is coming to a place like this spending good quality time here and really immersing yourself in what's going on